Hello, you guys. Hello, hello. Let me pull the chat up on the laptop. Hello, Aaron. Hello, Takeo. Good to see you. Hello. Okay. We were just over on YouTube and we were covering Crystal Station. She is going to be a new regular part of our content over there. Maybe sometimes over here. Uh, probably more over on YouTube. <laughs> But um, we had a lot of fun during that stream, and we happened to notice that Foodie Beauty uploaded a new mukbang. And just a heads up, it looks like baby poop as usual. But I saw that Goose Chuck had um, made a new video on Foodie Beauty, and I thought we can watch it together. I thought that might be fun. So, hello. Thank you, everybody, again for hanging out with me. We did cover Foodie's grocery haul and her new car earlier, but um, this stream is no longer available due to reasons. So, <laughs> so just know we did talk about it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, hey, Steffi, good to see you. Hello, hello. I'm trying to wait for everybody to get here before we start. I know everybody was going to be coming over from Twitter. Actually, I didn't even mean to share that. I forgot we're on Twitch. Sorry. <laughs> I just showed my buy me a coffee link, but nobody felt obligated. All right. So, let me make sure this is on my, do I want to pull up on my iPad? Well, I'll try to see you guys over here on Twitch. I could see you on StreamYards, but for some reason, oh, 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 the chat's up. Okay, I could see, hey, Mrs. Scarlett, good to see you. I'm keeping an eye on things. Hey, Fairy Nymph, I'm keeping an eye on things over on YouTube. Um, If Crystal goes live again and Marty is not covering it, we will be going back live again on that. All right, so let's watch Goose Chuck first. Goose Chuck cracks me up, and they are always spot on with what they have to say to Foodie Beauty. Joe, you made it. Okay, we're watching Goose Chuck first, Joe. All right, here we go. Hey, stupid. So, I see that, you know, flash things don't matter. I see that. Doesn't matter about stuff and things. I'm a modest person. He's had three house oh upgrades. Gosh. Now he's driving a 2024 vehicle. He just came back from the thing. And yep, this is it. Oh. Happy anniversary. Babe. 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 Performative babe. Switching stuff over to Kuwait, I guess, eh? A couple of channels going into Salabot's account, I guess, eh? Um, oh, let's see. I'm sorry, but it's I'm rude post F. I have to fucking do it. I like how she says babe. She does foodie so well. So fuck you, man. Mm -hmm. Like, I have to say, I didn't really, I don't, you know, I've been doing stuff and I want to talk about weird shit, but I got to start this with this one. Just a little hey, stupid. We fucking see you. Okay. Get your fucking cat dealt with her, rehome them finally. Just end it. Just end this shit. Okay. Okay. Just rehome your animals and this shit. Seriously. And you can start telling everybody about your fucking budgeting uh, with your 2024 vehicle. So, like, whatever, man. Fuck. You're just fucking unbelievable. Your your fucking anniversary video had me cringe so hard. I was briefly inside out. I like, <laughs> you fucking flashed in and out. It was I was briefly inside out. Fucking horrific. That was the cringiest shit ever. And what, you know, whatevs. I want to talk about weird shit because I've been at the barn all day, all day. I've been, it's, I think 13 hours now I've been here. So like, and I just, I feel like I'm missing out on life. I want to go work at the barn. Julia is less important to them than their new car. It's, it's facts. When it's this perfect temperature, like I, I live well, as you can tell here, maybe you can tell him. Maybe you can't tell that. It's Rigby's making noise there. Can you see? Oh, yeah, I cannot quite. It's, uh, you know, Vancouver Island. So it's like, I'm here in a hoodie. I was working in a t-shirt all day. You know, it was fucking warm as fuck. Horses had their rugs off. No snow. It's just temperate rainforest, right? It's because they're raining. But whatever. So I've been here. And it's like the perfect temperature. Working in a hoodie and a hat. Fucking Yes. <laughs> bitches get shit done fuck and that's what and that's what i'm doing so and i want to talk about weird shit okay. so this one is just for you stupid because like we still see you man oh i foodie maybe you don't know this i won 
an FFG BBJ Feldman <gasps> calendar oh. from the random YouTube picker. Oh my God. And my comment was, uh, oh, remember everybody, she's while she's doing these, she's sitting spread eagle like she did in the cat cafe. I remind people <laughs> a lot that you are comfortable sitting spread eagle because you can't sit on the couch because it's uncomfortable for you. Oh. And you have to take that fucking spoonful of shit that you're just leaning over and just swallowing. You can't get it across that real estate. I don't know why. Yes, yeah, because it's called effort. That's why. That's why. Because mm. it's called change. Because it's a, called, called positive direction. Because it's called getting shit done. Because it's, uh, yeah. And you just can't fucking get it, right? Because you're stupid. Rehome your animals, animal abuser. By the way, those yeah. chrysanthemums and those flowers that you have, those are poisonous to your cat. So way to go. Yeah. Way to keep, you know, put all this shit out in public and think that people aren't going to say anything. Yeah. Don't feed them to your fucking hamster. Okay? Fuck. Fuck you. I want to talk about weird shit. I'm get, making another video. Uh, okay. I love goose chuck rants. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait. Hold on. I guess Foodie couldn't wait to get her word in because <laughs> that suddenly just started. I like goose chuck. I like how. They keep it real. Um, their rants are usually like so on point and they just let Foodie Beauty have it. They just let Foodie Beauty have it. So definitely go check out Goose Chuck. This is her new baby poop mukbang. It looks like absolute crap. I haven't seen much of it. I nosed around on Twitter before I went live for like two seconds and everybody was commenting on how disgusting it looked. So we have that in store for us. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I don't. No. All right. Okay. I'm scared too. Oh, hold on. It would help if I shared the screen one in it. <laughs> My brain isn't working correctly after watching Crystal Station. Oh my gosh. That was like chaos. Okay. She's got a plate full of olives. Let's start this over. Somebody was talking about on Twitter how what she's drinking is considered near beer. But I don't know. I thought they couldn't have like any alcohol. Even near beer has some alcohol in it. So. Gifts. Hope to hear from you. Bye. Bye. Okay. My camera's crooked, but oh well, that'll have to do because my food's getting cold. I'm getting annoyed. So. Ew. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome back to another video. I have some pickled. Oh, my god. This gosh. is pickled um, mountain garlic, I found out. Okay. Okay. My pickle plate today is pickled mountain garlic, pickled jalapenos, and black olives sliced. It's some kind of chicken. It's some kind of chicken, and it's a lot of whatever it is. And I just want to remind you guys, I can't remember if it was on Twitter and Twitch at this point, um, or YouTube, but we talked about it somewhere. <laughs> we talked about it somewhere where Foodie, uh, the farms had found uh, Foodie Beauty talking about her mukbangs and calling them a form of self-harm. Yes, she did. She called eating like this a form of self-harm, yet she continues to do it every single day. And oftentimes, what she's eating looks like poop. Iced. Strawberry barbican. Potato putin. Roasted potato putin with homemade chicken gravy. Shredded mozzarella because I can't find cheese curds and roasted chicken. So bismillah, let's dig in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Beauty bite. I think this is the most disgusting thing I've I it's so gross. Yes, Takeo said the only color in her meals is the aluminum cans. Facts. Hey Satan. Oh, wow. I cooked a bigger chicken, so there were more drippings. Oh, tastes like real chicken. Mm. A 
if you want my recipe for my chicken gravy. Chicken drippings, butter, flour, chicken stock, and my secret is a bit of ketchup. Mm. I don't want that. I don't want to make that. I don't want to be near that. No, thank you. No, thank you. I know. Say Mrs. Carlet. No. Sour. Roasted chicken with the skin. Yuck. Mm. No, thanks. I don't feel like frying french fries, so roasted potatoes with seasonings. All I see is melted cheese. Like, all I can focus on is it all looks like you just melted a ton of cheese. The olives remind you of your ex. Oh, no. That's fine. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad we're Pickled jalapeno. You okay Spicy. there? <laughs> I thought it was Chinese mm. curry. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Well, I'm I know eating. what it's supposed to be, but I know what it looks like. I'm feeding us <laughs> all before. We have to go somewhere pretty far today. So we got to hit the road. Mm -hmm. It's like one o'clock right now. And I had taken the chicken out yesterday, but I didn't cook it. So I thought, I'm going to cook it because we don't know when we're going to be back. Interesting. Yeah, us all. Hi. I gave you some chicken. Um, so I thought, let's eat. Uh-huh. Let's eat. That's always our first thought. Let's eat. And then I can pack, like, you know, pack a, a snacks. Because, you know, going out for me used to always feel like, okay, what can I get? Where, what drive through can I go to? You know, that just that kind of, like, mentality, mentality instantly. Yeah, I know. It used to take us on fast food tours in Canada. Sometimes we'd start off with McDonald's and we'd go to Wendy's and we'd go to Starbucks and we'd go to Burger King <laughs> all in the same day. Associating road trips or whatever with food. So I'm trying to get out of that. I've heard some people say like, ew, there's so much gravy. But you wouldn't be saying that if you tried my gravy. <laughs> I wouldn't try anything that you touched or breathed dear. Like, to be honest, like, you don't wash your hands. Admittedly. Admittedly. I would like to wake up tomorrow. So, no thank you. It's really good. And take you. I want to thank you for being a first time chatter. I just saw it pop up. Thank you. Jeez. So little miss Julia. Mandy. After we did our groceries. It's okay if you didn't get a notification. She's eating what looks like baby pooper throw up again. Um, you didn't miss much <laughs> at all. At all. Made a home out of the bags. I'll insert the video here. 
I do know who you are, and thank you. Oh, gosh. Now, we have the bags away now, that? but I ripped the handles off a few and left some for her. Mm. How nice of you. I don't know why cats love plastic bags. I don't know, but you should probably check on her. I know. You can't tell her anything, though, Erin. The rest of us wouldn't let any of our animals or children play with plastic bags. But Foodie Beauty, you can't tell her anything because it's hate. So you guys watching anything good? I'm in one. Yeah, actually, I'm really into Sister Wives right now and American Horror Stories and Below Deck Mediterranean. Watching? She upsets me too, Erin. But you can't tell her anything. Um, Netflix. Man, they've increased their prices. Everyone has. Everyone. They have a base fee. $5.99, but with ads. And sometimes, you know, Wait, are they you decide to get the version with ads and you're just like, after a few times and then it interrupts your, your show and you're just like, that's it. I'm getting the, <laughs> the more expensive one. Mm. And, uh, so yeah, I have the one without ads. Erin, it's some sort of like cheese, chicken, poutine mixture without the cheese curds. I know there's mozzarella cheese in there. I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Hopefully it tastes much better than it looks. <laughs> like That's all I can say. Hopefully it tastes much better than it looks. Um, we have a lot of the same shows here. Uh -huh. in Kuwait and I was looking I said oh you know I used to enjoy the remake the non-narrated newest crime documentary Unsolved Mysteries based on it has the same theme music as the old series but there was a season three I didn't know about I saw season one and two yeah yeah that's nice I'm so distracted by the skin just laying on your plate next to the baby poop I can't think of anything else I am so grossed out I am so grossed out right now. Ugh. And you have to see it. Okay. I probably won't, though. If you love Unsolved Mysteries. I do, so I watch you because you are the greatest Unsolved Mystery to me. I grew up with that, so. Uh huh. That was my comfort show as a kid. <laughs> also, Rescue 911 with William Shatner. This is not sped up, Fairy, at all. I probably should have. Do 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 You want to know if you guys like weird shows this just popped up in my head i can't remember if i got it off netflix or amazon prime but it's this tv show um it's a series i guess i should say called from and it has the perfect mixture of like scary yet you like fall in love with the characters it could be really sad it could be funny but mostly it's kind of creepy and weird but it's one of those shows that once you start you cannot stop watching. It's so good. I highly recommend it to anybody. Like I said, I can't remember if I saw it on Prime or Netflix now, but look it up. From is such a good TV show, and the cast is really, really good. Mm. Ew! Ew! Anyway... Oh my 
gosh. I love that series. It's getting worse. I don't think there will be a season four, but they should. It's so good. <laughs> Aaron the ew is her slurping up the food as it's dangling from her lip and moaning. And I don't know how to describe it, but I hope that gave you like a good visual. I think I want to throw up in my mouth a little bit. It's a plate of food, like a serving plate, not like a dish that you, you know, for dinner. It's like a serving plate. It's a hubcap. It's a trash can lid. Envision that. <laughs> and it was a full plate of food, but now going foodie, that's like three whole bites. No, it's okay, Erin. I don't mind describing it for you um, at all. I just hope I'm describing it okay. Like she just is, she's eating melted mozzarella cheese and food the color of vomit. And so it was like dangling from her lips, the food on her lips, and she's moaning. And it was just a whole experience. It was really disgusting. Ugh. They mix everything up. They do supernatural, you know. Missing person, murder. All that jazz. She loves her box. Maybe yay. Are you in your She's like what? Are you in your boxy box? Do you have any toys for her? Other than bags and boxes? <laughs> She's the cutest girl I ever seen in my life. Aren't you? Well, you haven't seen my dog, so <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Julie is very cute. She just should be with better owners. Oh, Erin, Stranger Things You Will Love. It's such a good show. <laughs> I know, poor Julia Joe. I was craving a roast chicken with gravy. Yeah, but when most people crave roast chicken, they don't eat an entire roast chicken. I also put black pepper. No salt because the chicken bouillon cubes, you know. And I think my butter is not unsalted. Sorry to hear that. It's mm -hmm. almost gone. It's almost gone, Aaron. Literally just the skin and like a few more pieces of melted cheese. I'm full. <sighs> All right. I would say so. That's about it for this video. Thank you for having dinner with me. Check those. I'm telling you, check that series out. You're going to want to. And wish me luck on uh, going out and not going through a drive through <laughs> Actually, I've been doing pretty good with that, but I get tempted. Sometimes we get a, a coffee, but. If you go through a drive through after you ate all of that, you need to go to inpatient immediately. I'm trying to mostly eat at home. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm going to go to Foodie Beauty really fast. Um, oh, great. Crap. Hold on one second. I'm going to go to Foodie Beauty Twitter. I retweeted a few things while we were watching. Where's your god, Chantal? Um, she just ate it. Food's her god. She just ate her god. Her brain always shuts down mid-sentence. Yeah. Well, she's just focused on the food. Okay, let me pull up some Foodie Beauty Twitter. And let's see what everybody's saying. Um, her brain always shuts down. Not relying on God for help with temptation. She doesn't want to fix her problem. That's the thing. She's not going to ask her God for help because she doesn't want to fix the situation. She's fully um, submitted to her addiction. She has no 
urge to change because to be honest, why would somebody in active addiction change what they're doing if they're still getting paid money to do it? I am so glad. I think I've said this before. I am so glad that in my addiction, I didn't have a YouTube channel. I don't think I'd be here talking today. Imagine getting paid for what you're indulging in. Why would anybody stop, right? She gets attention. She gets subscribers. She gets money. All of that. Um, I'll save my pettiness for another day, but definitely check out my Twitter. <laughs> definitely check out my Twitter. I have to scroll back something. Let me pull it up on the screen. She's getting a hunchback. Yeah. I mean, you know what? Here's another example of somebody getting paid for their addiction. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but why would anybody why change? It's, it's bad. Your mama's a cokehead, but I mean, okay, I guess I, I, I whatever. I'll own it then. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm in love with the cocoa. Baking soda. I got baking soda. <laughs> Another person who gets paid to indulge. All right, let's see. Billy Joe said, never forget doo-doo's gray. Wait, why did I retweet this? Bussy stinks. Natterd said so himself. It stinks so bad. Foodie Beauty threw up when she went down on her. Why did I retweet this? LMFEO, when has Foodie Beauty ever thrown up because she didn't like something she ate? And I guess if you guys didn't know, Foodie Beauty, uh, not Foodie Beauty. Oh, she got those leggings from Walmart. I saw them there three years ago for Halloween. <laughs> Anyways, Natter and Dee Dee are now reacting to Foodie Beauty again. So Queen Natter El Scammy said, I love that this is Dee Dee Lulu on live stream mocking Foodie Beauty eating cake, trying to make fun of how fat she is. Girl. Okay, what else does it say? Reminder, Dee Dee Lulu had to hold up her giant... I'm going to call it a football belly so that Foodie Beauty could actually get under there to slurp the silver clam. Oh, suddenly more nauseous than when we started this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm somehow more nauseated than before. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. It took me out of my Foodie Beauty Twitter. Hold on. Wait, what does it say? Slot plate and life by Jen ceiling angles. Yep. Okay, hold on. Let me click on me again. What the heck? I know. I have a whole image in my head that I was so much better off not having. Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, I have those leggings. I'm telling you, I got them from Walmart like three, four years ago. <laughs> Okay, anyways, Lauren Dahl said, does Foodie Beauty or Salah own any type of business perfume? Is the YouTube channel considered a business? Wondering if that car is claimed as a write-off. I never thought of that. Could it be? Barbecue Chicken said, if the couple's channel is monetized again, why aren't these videos uploaded there? So that was her grocery haul. She got a lot of crap again, a lot of frozen things, nothing really fresh except for like a giant thing of um, lettuce. But she was separating the things, you guys, she was separating them into two different piles. It was like, you could definitely tell what she was keeping because she would place it near her or behind her. And then like the good food was going into a different pile. So it kind of made us wonder if that was for Salah's other family too. Okay, let's see. What is this person saying? Engine Fairy said, what the F is that? Based on previous instance of her cooking, it could either be noodles or unmelted shredded cheese. They were talking about what she just ate. I'm trying to memorize a new word. What word? Okay, let's see. Let's keep going. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. More Michael Furberger art. I get a car, you get Beatus. And then it says, showing my wife how much I care about her health. It's Foodie Beauty as a turkey sitting in gravy. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's never looked better. It's true though. He gets a car and all she's getting is more health problems. She has to eat herself to deletion to be able to afford his taste. 
Yikes. Pandu Pandu said, like a Dyson vacuum. She couldn't swallow it whole fast enough. Had the same vibe as the chicken mukbang. Still eat more faster, chins. Crazy. Smegma? Okay, let's keep going. Queen of W to F shared screenshots from her mukbang and said, and just like that, it's gone. So it kind of goes in order here. How it started. Ew. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You need help. Ugh. It's a picture of her with the melted cheese hanging over her STI-infected lip. And there we go, with just the skin left on the plate. How is she not embarrassed? How is she not embarrassed? Oh my gosh. Um, Fondue Pondu said, so no longer has the stamina to stand in the kitchen and put away food. And spending 200 to 300 US dollars a week in food for two people, mind blowing. Yeah, I don't think that was for her. I don't think that was for her. She doesn't eat anything that's not beige. I totally think that was for her, his other family. Wow. Uh, Tara Lee said, Hey, Foodie Beauty, if your car comes with a complimentary fire extinguisher, you might want to rethink that decision. The stupidity is astounding. <laughs> And the rest we already went over in the last stream, but I'll keep a lookout for Foodie Beauty Twitter. Um, even the food is afraid to go near her mouth. It's like jumping. It is. It's running for dear life. <laughs> Hoping it's going to make it safe. Poor food. You know, she is like a vacuum. That's the best way to describe her. She doesn't chew anymore. It's just kind of she slurps it up whole. Okay, I'm going to check something really fast and make sure nobody else uploaded. Um, if they did, we can definitely cover it now. Let's see. There is nothing in this moment in time. But if Crystal Station goes live again, we will be covering that over on Twitter. If Foodie Beauty uploads anything or Amberlyn Reed does, we will definitely be covering it over here and hang out again. Yeah, it's trying to run. <laughs> it's chicken run. <laughs> it is scared Mrs. Carlet. I feel bad for the food. Like, what did it ever do to Foodie Beauty? What did it ever do to Foodie? <laughs> All right, you guys, I am going to go for now. I'm going to rest a little bit, uh, feeling a little sickish. I think I got what my daughter had. So I'm going to rest, but I will definitely see you guys again on some platform later. So just again, if Foodie Beauty or Amberlynn Reed upload anything, we'll be back over here. And uh, if Crystal Station goes live again, we will be over on YouTube. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you, Aaron. I'll feel, I'll feel better. I'm going to get some rest right now while I can. Why, um, you know, I, I'm not in mom mode right now, so I have a little bit of time. So thank you guys again for hanging out with me. I hope you guys are having a great day, great evening, wherever you are. And I'm sure I will see you very soon. <laughs> Bye, everybody.